Can you guys hear me now? I hit my uh, I hit my microphone. But uh, I'm saying welcome back, everybody. Um, we're gonna be jumping in, continuing this playthrough of the Expanse, uh, right towards the end of last uh, last episode. The the episode really started picking up. Things got really really good, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited, guys. I've been I've been waiting for this. We gotta wait like two weeks for each you know part of it to be released. It's kind of like a damn tv show but uh it is what it is guys uh, i think they might do a little recap uh here in a sec we'll we'll see i think they're gonna do a little recap um but again i'm really happy to be back playing some more telltale all right so let's see I, they sh I think they usually do a recap on these telltale games let me see please kamina don't do this Take him to the brig. Come! Cut it! How long until the pirates are back in range? Hour, maybe two, depending on burn. Same as last time. And the time before that? And the tin time before that. I was actually kind of worried about those pirates. I thought they were going to try to take over the How ship. How are you doing? I'm not the one we need to worry about. Oh yeah, let me get my let me get my controller plugged in real quick. Hold on one sec, guys. All right, yeah, so the this lady took a shot. Uh, if you guys didn't see last episode, I would definitely go watch that before watching this. Um, but yeah, she got shot. All right, here we go. Her body can't heal under this burn. Even Khan needs to rest sometime. You'll figure something out. I know you will. Motherfuckers! Shouldn't be possible! ETA, eight minutes! They must have increased their burn this time. <sighs> Don't these Pashangwalas rest? Humans rest. Pirates are fucking animals. We need to do something about your arm. Um, Virgil has the medbay prepped and ready. It's fine. Hardly hurts anymore. We're outgunned and nearly out of fuel. Unless we come up with a plan to shake them soon, infection's gonna be the least of my problems. What do you think we should do? What do I think we should do? Besides find ourselves a captain who knows how to make decisions? I was asking your opinion. My opinion is that there is no good option. Whatever you choose will be wrong. And it's your fucking job to choose, Captain. This old lady is savage, man. Coordinates, 8214. What are we looking at? Fuck if I know. It's a ship's graveyard. Debris field. Caught in orbit around that body. There's nothing registered there. How do you know? Back when I was MCRN, there were reports of a proxy battle right around here with UNN forces. Never confirmed, but seemed legit. Or much more likely, it's some solar backscatter, radiation cluttering, or 
Any other fucking thing? How large was this battle? Large enough for a pissant ensign like me to hear about it. I'd guess nearly a dozen ships? New plan! We run for cover, in there! Won't work, boss man. If we, if we break their lock, they'll be able to track our drive plume. There won't be a drive plume. We burn hard for here first, then cut engine and turn into orbit. Let it carry us around until we land in the debris. Slingshot, fuck yes! Could work, if there is actually something there. Stations! Con! On my word, loose a PDC volley, then turn and burn. I need to watch this damn show, guys. You guys didn't know there's, I guess there's a TV series for The Expanse. Lady man, she, even after getting shot, she's still a boss. We have landed in the debris field. <laughs> it's shit pirates! You did it, boss man! Fucking legend! Quiet! Dodging pirates. We don't have much time. The pirates are searching for us, and we can't run again without more fuel and reaction mass. Arlen? Baratna and I will head out and start scanning. Captain, I'm prepped for surgery as soon as Khan is ready. <sighs> Tell that waste of oxygen. I wouldn't be needing surgery if he didn't freak out the first time. I'm still here. Virgil won't let you down. He handled Rayan's surgery just fine. The prosthetic is ready. Is the uh, patient? Damn, the. Oh, we gotta lose um, our whole arm because of a- You're staying to make sure Dr. Dipshit doesn't cut off the wrong arm. All she did was get shot. She needs a whole new arm? Hey, don't, don't scrape your knee in this uni universe, man. Chop your whole fucking leg off. <laughs>
Like, Doc, I think I need a Band-Aid. And he's like, I got you. Ying. Just chops it off. Cap. Scanners aren't picking up any signs of fuel. Keep looking. Meantime, I'll go for their reaction mass. So we got a gun on us now. What a mess. What got Earth and Mars so worked up? And what's a Belta ship doing in the middle of it? Who knows? Hopefully they all got some reaction mass on board though. I'll never look at a containment vault the same again after that terrible situation with Rayon. Rayon, how's the new prosthetic doing? Sometimes it feels just like my old leg. But then sometimes it feels like it's the stranger who won't let go of me. And then it starts itching so bad. Quit whining. You made the red right call, Cap. Ray wasn't using his leg much anyway. <laughs> well, at least they're mad chill about it. I appreciate everybody for coming in and hanging out tonight. Found some reaction mass. Toss it to me. I will store it. Nice toss, Cap. Bossman, you probably noticed me Baratna has been a little edgy lately. Ray, your brother has been an angry Pasheng Walla since my first day on board. This is different. He's... he's got the shakes. It's the pixie dust. But he's been clean for almost a year. He takes some meds that help keep him straight, but... But we haven't done a supply run in weeks. Yeah, ran out of toxiperidone three days ago. Don't worry, boss man. He'll be fine. He tough. But thought you should know. That, that just adds to our list of problems. I'm sure Khan will be fine, but it wouldn't hurt to check on the crew. Don't want to interrupt, but how is everything down there? The auto dock kept us on track, but Virgil had to do some of the larger incisions himself. Khan will be out for a while. When she wakes up, we'll try to attach the prosthetic and... What the... Oye, Maya. Shit. The hell was that? Maya is always complaining about the tools in the engineering bay. Maybe an MCRM model would cheer her up. Yeah, Cap. Cheer up the Martian girl with your tool. Pasheng Fong. Mess hall up there. I gotta, I gotta be honest, guys. The, the areas that you can explore in this one are humongous, man. Virgil will probably appreciate these mushrooms. Oh, maybe he'll make white kibble when we get back. Cap, what do you think of Virgil? You trust him? Not sure. I don't know what Cox was talking about in the mess hall, and Virgil doesn't seem willing to talk about it. Not willing to talk, or not willing to talk to Beltas? Some people don't have anything real to care about. <laughs> D 
typical Inyas. Travel all the way out here, yet can't break free from their peppy plant extract. Peppy plant extract. Belters seem like some pretty hardcore peeps, man. Uh, I don't know if there's like a map of the area. I don't think so. Oh, here we go. Med Bay. We can find some medicine here. I don't even know if this was the ship I was supposed to come in. I just kind of looked over and I seen it. So I just came over here. Focus drugs. Were they planning for an interrogation? Then why'd they start shooting? Hmm. The Martian ship had focus drugs on board. Must have wanted to question someone. I hate those things. Rayon and I got busted by the MCR in once. Didn't think I'd leave that interrogation room alive. Watching that Martian's eyes go all weird. Last time we ever stole anything on Vesta, had to move to Ceres and start stealing there. Why can't we take those? Those sound useful. Alright, so I didn't see any. One, uh, one of our uh, secondary objectives is to find medicine for Arlene. But we're in the med bay right now here, and there's no meds that I can see, at least. Unless we gotta keep going up. Hopefully they won't need these anytime soon. After this week, maybe keep them close by. This is the bridge. Can't tell whether the Belta ship was attacked by both sides or caught in the middle. Either way. It didn't stand a chance. See the new briefing. I want to reiterate: three conditions remain the same. Builder ship must be intercepted, and the stolen tech were. Turned MCR in possession, of course, still the entire fleet when it started. It was just one cruiser. That was before the UNN began sniffing around. So the MCRM was chasing the Belters because they stole something. Only need one ship to chase someone. Why'd they bring our whole fleet? The Martians didn't want the UNN to intercept the stolen tech first. They sent a fleet to keep them away. And the UNN reacted the way they always do. With guns. All right, so we hit the med bay. We hit that bottom area. I'm going to go sweep through the bottom area one more time. I'm pretty sure we've cleared out most of it. Yeah, we cleared out the mess hall here. And, uh, how you doing, Zach?
What's across here? Might be able to rewire this guidance system to work with our ammo. It was good enough for Earth and Mars to tear each other apart. And neither side surrendered, even after taking heavy fire. Stupid Inyas, they never know when to quit. Well, we swept through this place pretty good. At least to the best of my uh, abilities. Blast doors to the Laguna are locked down. Not sure if there's a way to open them. Way ahead of you, boss man. I found some unexploded charges in the sea. Check out the other ship and I'll get them ready. Good work. Alright, nice. Oh, Red Eye Jedi, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. How are you doing today? Uh, great to see you playing this brilliant show. Awesome game. Hope you're enjoying it. I've been having a great time with this, man. It's uh, Graphically, it's just it's such a beautiful Telltale game. Now, granted, the only ones I've really played were the Walking Dead ones, so I don't know if there was any other Telltale games that also were like visually good, but like I like the new graphic direction that they traveled, at Happy least with this one. Which ship is which? It's all blasted to Falota. There's definitely more scrap here than a few ships can account for. Maya was right. This was a full-on proxy battle. With a belter ship at the center. So we'll hit this area, then if you look down there, there's another couple spots we can get into. Definitely have to watch the first episode for sure. Um, if you want to completely know what's going on. Okay, this area is pretty big. I hope Khan's surgery goes well. For her sake and Virgil's. Maya? Status report? Fire the torpedoes! Give those sons of bitches a welcome, or I'll throw you in the brig! Sit down, or I'll cut off the other arm! Sorry, Cap, what was that? Is that Khan? Why is she so angry? Something about bogeys on the radar? She's a little woozy from anesthesia. I hope she passes out again. I'm gonna draw on her face. Real Earth Whiskey. Even Cox has to settle for the belt of stuff. Cox, I need you to tell me everything you know about this Toussaint and the Europa's Bing. They're pirates, what's to tell? Helpful as always. I'll leave you to enjoy the brig. Wait, wait. Is Khan... Uh... I mean... How is she? She'll live. No thanks to you. Or that hothead Virgil. He's the one who lunged in and made the gun go off. 
which was in response to you provoking him. You seem to say that he was hiding something from us. Maybe. Let me out of here and we can talk about it. Mm, no. How about you tell us or I space you? Earthers love their oceans. Too bad they destroyed them all. Ugh. And Inya say that Belta food is disgusting. It's so weird, like, hearing them how they, like... So... Uh, are there, like, different races? Like, like... I, I gotta watch this show, man. Like, Earthers are obviously were humans, but... So they're technically are aliens, but they're just different, what, races of, like, humanoids, I guess you could say? Or are they all humans, but they all, like, ventured out from Earth and settled in different areas? Maya seemed willing to help with Khan's surgery. Hope she doesn't regret that now. Is everything, um... Okay, she just said we've been boarded. And now she's wandering around looking for intruders. So, everything's fine. Maya? Are you afraid of the elderly woman with one arm? Fuck off. You weren't here. You didn't see the look in her eyes when she... Wait. Hey there! Do you want to lie down for a minute? Do you want to fucking die?! Oh, shit. Oh, no. So they all are humans? And uh, they okay, that that's what I was wondering. I didn't know if they were like born in a different part of the galaxy and they're Yeah, I wanted to start watching this. I wanted to start watching the show, but I've been uh, trying to knock out my One Piece episodes. Must be the captain. Very proud of his connections to the UN and Brass. So what class? Because so the the skinnies or the those are the belters, right? The guy, the people who are considered frail because they live wherever the hell makes their body frail. Um, Martians are those like people that are from Mars? Like what classifies as people? And then you have Earthers. Those are the three um, different groups I've heard of so far. You got Martians, the belters, and then Earthers. Whatever the Belters stole, the UNN and MCRN both went after it. But how did this turn into a shootout? The MCRN overreacted to the theft, and the UNN overreacted to the Martian fleet. They got into a pissing contest, and neither backed down. And the belt got caught in the middle again. Nothing up there. Got a barrel here. I'll take that. What if there's any benefit to finding all this equipment? Good work, Sasata. Boss man, I got everything hooked up to blow the door. Head back to the Laguin and check it out. Got it. Some Hopefully we'll find enough reaction door. mass to get out of here. And then what? We going treasure hunting? Yeah, 
You think those coordinates go anywhere interesting? Cox said those coordinates were valuable, but Cox started talking just to get out of the mess he made. You been near a brig lately? Since you save his ass, Owala never shuts up. Okay, so we still haven't located any medicine yet. It's the same thing with the last area I went into. I, I couldn't find the, uh, the different drill tip or whatnot. So it's the same area we were just in. Literally flew out the hole and then flew back. There's no way I'm that much of an idiot, dude. I'm really that dumb? Like, how have I lived? How have I survived 33 years, chat? Like... What the fuck? These boots might fit Khan. Once I get the feet out of them. Oh. Yeah, feet are a good sign. Means they work. Let's go blow that other door. Maybe it's in there. A Martian Marine who was trained for fighting in Earth's gravity thinks being on Earth sucks and is exhausting. Really? So, is that why Earthers are what considered tough because of the gravity that they live? We're like, we're like, we're always trained in the hyperbolic time chamber, baby. Explosives are set. Good work, Kamina. Now let the whole station see what happens to traitors who sell out the OPA to the Inyas. I'm in. the blast door. Pashing. Fine, I'll get more explosives. No need. I should be able to access the lockdown controls from the bridge. Good thinking, Cap. Could still find more explosives. Just in case.
They were heading toward Titania to link up with the Belter sect there. Almost made it. Oh, Neff, hell yeah, man. I'm, I'm so, I'm super into anime, man. Wouldn't let anyone get their hands on that tech. There's not many things out Who there I, I'm not into, you know what I mean? Looks like the crew tried to record a message. This message is to all Erda and Martian security forces in the area. We have received your warnings and demands, and this will be our only response. The MCRN says we have stolen their property. The UNN says we are traveling illegally in their sector. We recognize neither of your claims over us. This is our belt. Torpedoes, away! Incoming! Stand down now and let us keep our course. We will either join our OPA Baratnas on Titania, or sacrifice ourselves to your destruction. There is no other option. Beltalada, who here is prepared to die for your belt? Beltalada! 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 You hear that? Wouldn't surrender the tech and set their message in the only way the inners understand. What was the message? That the inners may control everything, but they can't control the belt. And they'll never control belters. Brave, Koyos. You know what the the cool thing about this uh the expanse that that like the lore I guess you could say that I've noticed so far is um it seems like it's like a more grounded universe than even like Star Wars, you know what I mean? I guess you could say like uh lo-fi as in like Bethesda put it. It's not like super super sci-fi. Uh, gaming, I'm doing good, man. Doing good, brother. At least that's the what, what I'm, I've picked up so far. But it definitely seems like it's it's more believable than like you know like Star Wars with the with the Wookies and the you know and the lightsabers and the Force and all that type of shit. You know what I mean? This seems like it's it's more like I guess you could, yeah like realistic. I guess you could say yeah. After I wiped the floor with Dawes one time, he declared that Gogo was frivolous and banned OPA from play. <laughs> Typical. Don't get me wrong, guys. I love Star Wars and I love the Force. I was just drawing a comparison on, like... Got another reactor I'll mass. need to make a hole to pass this to the twins. This data cube hacker might be useful. I let you break into Rayon's special data drives. Set up push to Nice. 
Masai, how you doing? Found another barrel. Woo! This is loaded! Or oh, whatever the Inya say. <laughs> Touchdown! Woo! We've got some radiation from a nearby ship, the Manitoba. Scanner shows the engine is mostly intact. Maybe a few pellets too. Boss man, that's the far edge of the debris field. You'll be exposed. You two head back to the Artemis. Everyone stays on the ship, but be ready to pick me up on my order. So I wonder how the suit works with like breathing and stuff, because it doesn't seem like there's like a whole lot of oxygen or whatnot, so I don't know if it's some kind of recycler that's just Captain, we're picking up a communication from the Europa's Bane. Sabaka, they locked us? No, it's a broadcast. But they must know we're close. Patch it over. There is no sense in running anymore. You know who I am, and I am looking forward to meeting you. Contact me to discuss the terms of your surrender. Or just sit and wait until we find you. It's only a matter of time. Shit, shit, shit! Cap, you got to get back here! Not without fuel pellets. Stupid drone is stuck. Oh shit! Sabaka. I doubt they will all be so easy to kill. Virgil, if I respond, will they be able to trace the signal? No, it will only confirm you are in broadcast range. But they seem pretty sure of that already. Put me through. Captain Zapata, this is Kamina Drummer of the Artemis. I don't want to fight you, but keep sending your crew after me, and I'll be forced to keep killing them. You're a long way from Siri Station, Kamina Drummer. You've heard of me? I've heard of your work and your bounty. But if I'm speaking to you, what happened to Garrison Cox? 
He attempted to double his profits. As a result, I am now captain. Not surprising. There's no loyalty among scavengers. Not that the OPA is any better. You must really enjoy the company of miscreants. Alien zombie with the two years, man. There it is. Thank you so much for the love. I appreciate it. How you doing today? Yeah, so was jo drummer like John Wick? Lucky he missed me. This one looks like an inner. Guess Toussaint and I have one thing in common. Keeping a crew of belters and inners from killing each other. Yeah, I got I, aliens on me. I got to work on us. Uh, I, I think I can have all the way up to a four year badge. Um, but I wanted to revamp my badge system altogether. Um, we just haven't got around to it yet. You can always retreat, Toussaint. Protect the rest of your crew. Your reputation is well earned, Captain Drummer. Daniel and Yuri were, they were two of my best. But their needless deaths do not change. Enough. I've had a very long week in a crash couch because of you. Either fall back or keep sending your men to die. Those are your options. Brian, you need to design a three-year badge. But aliens, I'm thank you for the super chat, brother. I appreciate it, man. So why don't we grab one of these, dude? I wonder if there's anything good in those rooms. Check my missions. Okay, 
Okay, so I already think I missed the meds. Gas? It looks like a box of cereal. Please tell me this thing has ammo. I'm on my way. No! Everyone stay back! What's happening? Why are the pirates pulling away? There are always more options, Captain. I'll have the coordinates. Even if I have to come through rubble to find them. Goodbye. You're bluffing. Hello? Toussaint! Come on. Gotta be some ammo left. <laughs> PDC delivery. Sabaka! Are you crazy? You could get killed! So could you! Now step back and let me do my job! I don't know what the fuck you two are doing, but I'm approaching your location on control thrusters for whenever we shove off. Glad you're back at your post. What are you waiting for?! We only get one shot before they know our position. I believe celebrations are in order. I don't know why I want to punch that guy in the... He says, like, one of those faces. Like, I'm gonna screw you over in the end faces. Coordinates are set for the MK Core. 
I played Metal Gear Rising a little, um, a little bit way back in the day. With the fuel you found, we should have no problem getting there and back to Ganymede at least. And how is the new prosthetic? It'll do. <laughs> Get some rest, Captain. No telling what we'll find at those coordinates. Hey, Cog. Resting. Go away. <clears throat> Any guesses on our destination? Nada. All I know is that it's far the fuck out there. So ever hid that treasure, wanted it far the fuck away. I found this cigar on the Urshinabi. Thought you might want it. But I could always give it to the twins. Don't you dare give it to those two morons. They'd use it as a butt plug or something. <laughs> what? First taste, you earned it. <laughs> oh, Pashag. <clears throat> It tastes like burnt kibble. That's your unrefined palate. You need to smoke more to burn away all the taste buds. <laughs> <coughs> My husband, Bao, used to hate when I smoked. Said it was 40 minutes of pleasure for three hours of cleaning out the air vents. He wasn't wrong. What happened to him? The Pinafore, a small transport skiff owned by Trackman. I was pilot, Bao was chief mechanic. Boring work. Little outside contact. Exactly what we wanted. There'd been reports of pirates along our heading. The usual shit. We weren't worried because... What's the point? And besides, we had our protocol. Protocol? A maneuver we practiced. In case of hostile boarding, I'd feign submission. Hands behind my head. And when Bao thought the moment was just right, he'd say the code word and hit the deck, and then... Modified SMG with heat targeting rounds. I could draw and fire the clip in five seconds, easily take out an entire raiding party. She had the whole thing planned out. That is actually a solid tactical maneuver. Pirates wouldn't expect a weapon there and Bao would be safe on the floor. I know. So what happened? The pirates came for us like we feared. They boarded the pinafore. I drew them in, got them occupied. And at the right moment, Bao said the word. I froze. 
I'd never fired live rounds in battle before, and I suddenly doubted myself. What if the clip was jammed? Would it even fire? Maybe these pirates weren't so bad. It was just a moment, but it was enough time for an antsy pirate fuck to grab me and shoot my bow. I'm so sorry, Khan. It sounds like you two really cared about each other. That's the thing. We did. It's so easy to stop caring out here. Don't you want to know the code word? Artemis. I'd never heard of her. It was Bao who read all the Greek bullshit. Apparently, she and I shared a few things in common. Your ungodly beauty? Fuck you. <laughs> Mostly, you said it was because... I never missed my shot. Tell you what, if I ever get the chance... You bet your ass I won't flinch again. Damn. Can you believe how vicious these pirates are? Yes. I mean, how they were willing to blow us up just to prove a point. Yes. So you don't think there's anything special about them? Yes, I do. They seem to have more guns. It's good talking with you, Khan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a good conversation, man. It's been a rough week. I should check in with the crew and see how everyone's doing. Virgil on his floor? Poof, Flota. Cox was even more unhinged than I imagined. Encryption keys? Pushing Walla! I knew Cox was paranoid, but spying on his crew? Yeah. Still, I still wonder if we're gonna regret keeping that guy alive. Mess halls that okay, med bay's this way. Say what you will about Virgil, but he takes his job as ship's medic very seriously. 
Hypertension. Typical stress fracture, patients suffer repetitive stress injury during during basic training, no further treatment needed. Possible PTSD due to their time in the MCRN. Has suggested medication, which the, uh, the patient seems receptive to. Uh, bruises, minor lacerations sustained during a bar fight. Treated with topical instead of receiving for threats of profanities. Current health, pixie dust addiction. Managed with medication that we don't currently have. So he's had the amputation. He's on meds for it. She got shot. Yeah, I feel like that drug addiction is going to become an issue. Cox said Virgil was hiding something. Let's find out. Virgil grew up on Luna, but he's not like some in this. He actually thinks of Beltas as people. So Luna, what is that? The moon? For an inner, he does make an excellent red kibble. Looks like Virgil has some anxiety from his past. Glad to see he is managing it. Virgil's private computer. Must be something here. Encrypted. But I picked up a data cube hacker in that ship graveyard. Should tell me what Virgil is hiding. Hopefully this data hacker I found still works. Bingo. Apparently there's a lot Virgil hasn't shared about his past. Like his time as a UNN soldier. You want to change your face? I know a surgeon. Uh oh. So Virgil's not even Virgil. Whatever he's hiding, it was enough to make him change his entire identity. Hereby commanded to arrest Thorsten Mayer, bring him to court without delay for accused crimes of desertion of the armed forces. Percent. I'm attaching a copy of a warrant. As you haven't responded to my last three messages, I assume you're no longer interested in retaining my services. I stand by what I said before. You are under incredible strain. The court could likely take into account, but I can't defend you against a desertion charge. You're still on the run. I can only advise again that you return to Luna. You're a brilliant surgeon. This does not have to define your career. Please think about your future and get in touch. So his name was originally Thorsten. Not only did Virgil hide his UNN service and his real name, he's also wanted by his own government for desertion. I should try to get more information from him. Arlen treats Rayan like he's the weak one, but I haven't heard a single complaint from Rayan since his surgery. Be 
confused, guys. Now that I know the truth about Virgil, it's time to get some answers from him. What's on your mind, Captain? I found some mushroom powder for you to cook with. <sighs> Bursting with umami. Exceptional. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Here we go. What would you do if you went to work and when you came home, you were a zombie? Like you were a zombie? Where are the kids? I mean, seeing as I go to work like right in this room, I mean, it all just kind of depends. But it depends on like how much of a threat you are to the kids. I mean, I'd, I'd maybe lock you in a room or I'd just shoot you. Oh, the kids are zombies too? If you're all zombies, yeah, I'm just going to leave. I, I would just let you guys go. But if the kids were still alive, yeah, I'd, 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 I'd put you down. All right, here we go. But no, if the whole fam—I mean, honestly, if the whole family was zombies, I'd probably just—I'd probably just join you guys. And just be—it would just all be zombies. All right, here we go. You guys ready, chat? We're about to call them out. You served in the UNN. As a medic, yes. It was the only way I could afford medical school on Luna. Hmm. Why did you desert? Because I was finding it harder and harder to live with myself. Being stationed in the belt, I was surrounded by people in desperate need of my help. But because of the badge on my chest and the gun on my back, I was their enemy. One day, it became too much to bear. Did you do something? No, I never hurt anyone. I never raised my gun, not once. But what I saw taught me that there were two sides and I was on the wrong one. I'm sorry, Captain. I hope that my actions on this ship can offer some amends for my past. Why should I trust you? Because I sacrificed everything I have to get away from my past and start a new life here in the belt. I understand. But if there's anything else I need to know, I expect you to tell me. Of course. Thank you. Get some rest, Virgil. Captain, is my UNN past going to be a problem for us? You were stationed in the belt. That means you were occupying my home. I know. I cannot say for sure, but I hope not. We are still a crew, after all. 
Thank you, Captain. All right, Virgil's not too bad, guys. And wait for it. Everybody knows once you become a zombie, there's no cure. And, and any zombie lore and any... Like, once you turn, you're, you're, you're done. Now, the only is prevention. Like, like, like any cure that they would come up to would, would prevent any future people from becoming zombies. But all the people that already are zombies, yeah, you're, that's that's a that's a L right there. I mean, I, in the desperation of like, I would probably be the same way realistically. Like, especially if like my whole family turned. Like, I would lock you guys up and 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 feed you scrap meat or whatever and probably go out there poaching people and, and feeding them to my family like in the walking dead but uh in hopes that the cure would come and i'd be able to inject you guys and bring you back but realistically we all know that once you turn that's it taking cox's gun from him was as close to a captaincy ceremony as i'm likely to get I was skeptical of Virgil's maggot farm that he claimed would be useful in the event of an amputation. Now I'm hoping we have enough for Khan and Rayan. Medical maggots? That's... All right, let's, let's go find Maya. Saving this containment vault was an awful call to have to make. But without the fuel, ammo, and oxygen it contains, we could end up losing a lot more than just a leg. I'm hoping that we made a good choice, but you guys know how, if you ever played the first Walking Dead Telltale game, um, taking the food out of the, the, the station wagon there in the beginning, guys, uh, it, such a small choice. I could not believe how big of an impact that made at the end of the game. I was like, what the hell? Cox. Are you here to let me out? Then kindly fuck off, Captain. Bro, you can still end up in space, bro. What are you listening to? It's Martian music. You wouldn't like it. I'll decide what I like and don't like.
Good song. It's a beautiful song. I'm pretty sure it's copyright as hell. My mom point. used to play it for us on the guitar. Half the time she'd break down crying and not even finish it. It reminded her of my dad. It's funny. I hate my dad. I hate the army he died for. And I hate Mars. But I still miss it. What you did in the debris field was incredibly reckless. You disobeyed my order, and you put the whole- Oh my god. You're fucking welcome. I was getting to that. Thank you. Anytime. Khan seemed pleased with her prosthetic. Particularly the extra feature you included. That's good. Although you realize we just took the most unhinged person on the ship and gave her a bionic skull crusher for an arm. I think if Khan wanted to kill someone, she could do it without arms or legs. I'll leave you to it, then. Wait! Um... About that moment in the airlock. Yes? Are you feeling any better? I know you were pretty scared, given how tightly you were holding my hand. I'm pretty sure you grabbed my hand in there. Oh, sure. We can go with that if you want. I'm just saying... I'm here if you need to talk. The only thing we need to talk about is your delusion of fantasizing about me. I get it. It must be hard for the boss Meng to express her feelings. <laughs> Especially to the hot Martian engineer who can totally kick your ass. Not according to that scoreboard. My point is... There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Mm. Even if you did clink helmets with me. Clink helmets? <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? I think you know exactly what it means. Helmet clinker. Typical dumb Martian. You try to kiss a woman, but forget to take your helmet off first. If I did try to kiss you, there'd be no fucking confusion about it. You know, we could stand here talking about hands and helmets all night. Or we could go back to my room and... Settle it. By settle it, are you talking about sex? Only one way to find out. Well, shit! <laughs> wow. Isn't 
Ah, Falota. Maya's the one who stole Khan's barbecue sauce. That is... Not at all surprising, actually. Didn't she say she was gonna kill whoever she found out took the barbecue sauce? We <laughs> want Chad wants to see some more helmet clinking. If I sleep with Maya, the entire crew will know about it. Nothing stays secret on a ship like this. Is one night worth all the drama? I mean, it's true, chat. Is one night worth all the drama? Yes. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Fucking finally. What would Drummer do, chat? What would the real Drummer do? When Cox sat us down in the mess hall, I thought you were dead. And today in the airlock, I thought we were dead. I know. I'm just saying, you're not allowed to die on me, Kamina Drummer. Because I'm not losing the one person in the belt I give a shit about. <laughs> that? <laughs> That's exactly what the real drummer would do. See now, now I need to watch I need to watch the show and just to see what dr the real drummer's like. What the hell? You're going to want to see this. There's nothing on the map. No record of any settlements. So what the fuck is that? That's what was at the coordinates, man? Why are they doing this to us, chat? It's not enough. There needs to be more. Didn't even find the medic medication. I I looked all over the damn place. I didn't I didn't see it. Uh, a lot of us gave the the powder to mush or the mushroom powder to Virgil. Damn, half the people didn't even discover anything about Virgil's past. So we dug that up. Um, 26% actually listened to the song. 
That was a good song. Drummer didn't give Cox anything. Drummer gave Cox the bottle of scotch. Yeah, I didn't even have the bottle of scotch, I don't think. 87, 87%, guys. 87% of the people went and spent the night with Maya. That's almost 90%. Now, we won't have enough time to do Fallout 76. I, I had these two games planned for today, two new games, because uh, obviously this is only like a one-day thing. It's a little quick hour and a half stream. Um, so I kind of just postponed the game, two games I was going to play today till tomorrow. I just pushed them to tomorrow. So today was kind of like, a, uh, like I guess you could say, like a, a day that doesn't count in our normal rotation of games. Um, but there it is. It just stinks because every Telltale game I've played up to this point has already been released, so I didn't have to wait for, like, the episodes to come out, like, every few weeks. I just kind of binged the whole entire game. Because so I see a lot of you guys saying it's, it is short. Each episode uh, uh, is, like, an hour and a half. Um, so every single episode we're playing, you know, it's only, it's only going to be a little hour and a half here, hour and a half there. It kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, we we don't we won't really have enough time um, to do uh, really anything else. Sorry, nine thirty. By the time I start, it'll be ten. And I'm not trying to step to like one, two in the morning streaming. We'll just pick it up tomorrow. We're gonna be doing Dying Light and probably Fallout tomorrow. Uh, I might record another episode depending on how I'm feeling when I get off here. But of my VR series, I got two episodes of that recorded for you guys. Uh, I'll be releasing that within the next few, probably within the next week or so. We'll we'll start that series. Uh, in video form for you guys. Uh, but there it is, guys. Uh, we got over 300 likes on the stream. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I know that I hope you guys are enjoying this little story. Like I said, it's a little slower paced, um, definitely, than a lot. Oh, well, no, I guess most of the Telltale games are quite slow. Um, but the, once you get into like the later episodes of the Telltale games, they pick up and then they just don't stop. Uh, it's just nonstop, just decision after decision after decision combat sequence people dying it's just uh it's kind of like the you know the ftx everything just comes and happens all at once and uh so i guess we take our time you know catch our breath while we still can but i don't i don't mind the slow pace it's definitely relaxing these type of games it's more of like a you know it's almost like i'm just kind of sitting down watching an episode of a of a tv show that i get to pick the uh the choices the characters makes it, it's pretty damn cool so uh, but there it is, guys. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be back at it with some more streams. Again, I appreciate all of you guys for coming and hanging out today. Uh, if you haven't on your way out, hey, smash that like button. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. And again, uh, I really, really appreciate you all. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.